You know what's funny? That we've explored about 5% of our oceans, yet put more effort into exploring the outer ranges of our own atmosphere. But then again, it's understandable why. I mean, the things that live beneath the surface are pretty big and scary. But that's the real issue, is that these unexplored depths contain such big creatures. But why are they so big in the first place? Well, that's called deep sea gigantism, or abyssal gigantism. It's when creatures that live below the photic zone and into the aphotic zone grow twice or so bigger than their shallow water relatives. For example, isopods typically grow 8 to 15 centimeters, but the cold living giant isopods, well, you can guess it by their name alone, can grow up to 50 centimeters or larger, and they can even weigh a couple of pounds. Much is unknown about why these bottom dwelling creatures grow so big. A couple of theories give way to some answers, but not everything always lines up perfectly. One such theory that has been proven to be more of a tendency is Bergman's rule, which states that the body increases where the temperature decreases, which makes sense when you think about how cold the ocean depths really are. The decreasing temperatures is thought to result in increased cell size, and in turn lead to a longer lifespan, which when put together equals up to a much larger organism. This theory looks really good, especially when you start to compare it to the giant tube worms that live in and by hydrothermal vents, which by no means is a cold home. The giant tube worms have cousins called seep worms that live in, well, cold seeps. The difference, however, is that the giant tube worms have a lifespan of about two years and can grow up to 1.5 meters, while the cold seep inhabitants grow much slower, taking about 170 to 250 years to fully grow, and that's up to two meters which is just a little bit bigger than the giant tube worms. To put it in perspective, the deepest recorded hydrothermal vent is found 5,000 meters down, while the deepest recorded cold seeps are found at 5,000 and up to 6,000 meters down. Evidently, cold living animals are much larger and live, well, much longer than their warm water friends. Deep sea gigantism is probably caused for the many myths we hear about in our world today. The kraken, probably from a giant or colossal squid, and the sea serpent, probably from an oarfish. Of course, the first 12 to 14 meters respectively, and the latter 7 meters or longer. Likewise, the deep harbors many other large creatures, such as the Japanese spider crab that stretches to 12 feet, claw to claw, while the biggest warm water crab is found at 5.9 feet, and that's held by the red crab. No wonder we want to leave Earth so quickly. I mean, our own oceans hold many aliens to us, and who knows what other giant monster might be living farther down than these specimens we've literally seen in the first place.